Now things are gonna get a little bit hard, you know. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. I mean, you could just trade there and just play off mana. I just don't really like these kind of plays. Turn two, trade there. Okay, we are probably having the matchup of alignment route here, right? Or not? I actually don't know. Oh, he hit the wild growth. That is very lucky. Is a alignment route guys playing wild growth? Does anyone know? Any knowers? Jinajari. Anybody? I mean, we already have two from the depths. I don't think we want more from the depths at this point. Uh, so what if we face alignment dirt here, guys? What's the play? Because what if I get alignment next turn? What now? Then we probably play a one mana boat, right? Yeah, if that's gonna happen, we might just be in trouble anyway. I'm warning you. Turn eight. Thank you for the warning. Not smite, huh? Okay. Maybe might just go destroy weapon of Rokara. Rokara is a likely play in general. Ty's new BG patch and you're playing constructed. Hey, we gotta keep at least one constructed streamer there as well, right? I mean, it looked pretty cool to be G patch, but I'm just enjoying Hearthstone constructed a lot. So what can I do? I can also go from the depths and then I trade and then I have one of these cards for zero mana, right? Two mana available here. Let's just get at least one from the depths in. big minion right it's kind of scary for him because maybe the rokara weapon can do good stuff yeah he's looking for the things next turn guys i think i'm just gonna no matter what i think we always play the sir finley because we're gonna get a lot of cheat like zero mana cards do i start sir finley here i think so Yeah. 
Let's just we get at least four zero mana cards. Let's hope they're minions. I could shield send there first, but I'm likely to draw a Drake, right? And Drake is kind of better. Another force in the flame is amazing. So we do this first. Then we hit. Draw five. Always play Onyxia here. Always play Drake here. I mean, it's just good to get all these cards going now, right? Because now they are zero mana. If he alignments again, I have to pay a lot of mana. So we just use everything that has the number zero. You definitely play there for tempo. It's getting a bit scary now because he drew a lot. So at this point, he should connect well. I mean, he's not ramping, you know? So 5, 7, 9 ish damage. So it's brand time here now. May just play as many cards as we can. Bashes or something are pretty good. I guess that can be good because it makes everything zero mana, right? So let's pick that. Now we... I think we Amalgam the Dragon. Then we get two big dragons for when he alignments again. We pick the biggest things. The bigger the better. Or another Kazakh, I guess. One left, then we do this. Let's keep pushing the lives here. If he alignments again, they are becoming one mana, so... There is the Norish ramp. Oh, he's not ramping. Okay, he's looking for the lady, I guess. He might have one mana Onyxias. We just keep pressing as hard as we can. The pressure is the way to win. The to the front can be very juice. Because let's say he alignments me here, which is not unlikely. I can go to the front and I can play all the dragons for zero mana. Okay. I mean, he needs to alignment now, I think. Melly Goose. Looks like a goose to me. Yep. Oh, it's still gonna be a hard game, man. Oh, wait. To the front is not less than one, right? Yeah, that's true. Actually, it doesn't work. Never mind me. It doesn't have mana for alignment, guys. Okay, so next turn I'm gonna get alignment and I will be back at one mana. So let's say we, uh, I mean, Brawl Shield Slam kind of clears for two mana. I can then do this to draw. I mean, we always end up brawling this, right? We could hit another one of these and then we deal 10 AoE. But I think it's a good brawl moment. Let's see first what happens here. Because I think I still want to get this forced in flame in. Hopefully, I don't know what we need to draw. And then we do these two. I'm not sure there's anything left, but uh, not much, right? These are also zero mana, right? So I'm gonna get alignment here again soon. It's kind of hard for him to play the treasure trial. Oh, that was such a better eat. Oh, that sucks. Now the alignment hurts, actually. 
I mean, I have a good life total and I can counter on XGIM, right? So it depends a bit what treasures he got. The problem is I, I'm going to play my Kazakh and my my uh, treasures are going to cost real mana. So yeah, we, we don't want to really Kazakh yet. We just... Oh, ah! That sucks. And now we're going to get wrecked. Created by Moonlit Guidance. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna onyxia this. Oh. The, the problem is the mana, guys. My Kazakus on cards are gonna cost the real mana. No one. Yeah, actually the two to the front is just useless. Yeah, I'm, at this point it's way better to have shielded shatters because they're zero mana. Okay, one, two, three, four trades. So if I just go raid bot on Nixia only, one, two, three, four, yeah, it doesn't kill the board well. So we either go zero mana into Nixia here. I think we do that right, max tempo. And next turn, we're gonna go Kazakuzan into this. I hope for one mana, he can only play one treasure, right? And hopefully that will just not be too scary. Like, he's gonna play one treasure. It depends what it is, I guess. But hopefully I get the time to go Kazakuzan from the depths. Because then my Kazakuzan is maybe viable. The problem is, I have to pay real mana for the Kazak. Happy birthday, Taj! It was my birthday yesterday! Thank you very much for the late birthday wish. Also, we still have decent pressure, right? So, he's not in the complete freedom. Let's say he plays Wand here. We can fa pretty finely play Kazakh. But yeah, without From the Depths, Kazakh is on is not good enough. Count down the lead. All right, it's time, right? 8, 10, 12, 14. I'm definitely considering face here, but I have to consider trade as well. Let's see what we get. It's good. We have to pay real mana. Let's play the removal game. I don't think banana split is the one I'm looking for with my comp. I might just pick this. Then we dredge right. Now we still can. Can shield slam for more smork. Let's play the trade game. I saw hyper blaster and spyglass, right? Yeah. The problem is my wands are still 5 mana, so that's gonna take some time. Um, um, um. What did I hit guys? I hit two, I hit hyper, I hit spyglass. So we're gonna copy the wax here, and then we AOE, right? And then all my waxes are 5 1. Beautiful. So if we do this and this, I have 2 mana left. So 
we do boom, we do boom. I can go face, I need to deal six damage there. Which is on shield slam play if I want to. I guess face is maybe better here. this game sick actually very sick we played really well though we never really panicked and we just tried to put as much tempo going and he didn't have the punish hand if the best way to play this matchup is to just play a lot for tempo and then there might be in this spot you kind of need to recover for it otherwise it gets very very hard to get this much control of the game like you don't need kazaku's on at some point you kind of do But yeah, I was kind of lucky that after the alignment, if he after the alignment had like the insane lady turn, it was probably too aggressive. Because then I have to be so reactive with like brawls. But one really good thing what you can do in this matchup is when you go Amalgam on a dragon, you just pick the biggest dragons. Like that second Onyxia gave me a lot of extra room as well. <laughs> 